matrices. Y matrix inverse A is a matrix and the inverse of A is the adjoint of A divided by the determinant of A. Or you might say the adjugate of A divided by the determinant of A. If we have a arithmetic algebra and matrix for arithmetic, which is number, 4 divided by 4 can be written as 1. Or you might say 4 times 1 over 4, still 1. Or you might say 4 times 4 to the power minus 1, still 1. And this is what you call the unit identity. So 1 is a unit identity. What I meant is if you times 4 by 1, you get 4. In algebra, if you have x times a equal to b, and you want to make x the subject, you divide both sides by a. So x times a over a equal to b over a. But we can also write that as x times a times 1 over a equal to b over a. And x times a times a to the power minus 1. That will be the indices of that. And that is also equal to b over a. x times 1 because a times a to the power minus 1 is 1. And that 1 is the identity here. And that equal to b over a. x is b over a. This is algebra in matrix. If you have x times a equal to b, you cannot divide both sides by a in order to make x the subject. What you can do is to use inverse of a by saying x times a times a to the power minus 1. The inverse of a will be equal to b times a to the power minus 1, inverse of a. In matrix, a times inverse of a is i. So that will be x times i equal to b times a to the power minus 1. I is what you call the unit identity or unit matrix or identity matrix. And so therefore, which is like 1. So what i is to 1 here or 1 there. And so we can write down the x to be equal to b times inverse of a. You can see why we need inverse matrix because we're multiplying with b here in this case in order to find x. So this is one of the application of inverse matrix. One thing to remember with inverse matrix is a times inverse of a is i or even inverse of a times a is also equal to i. In matrix, matrix multiplication is not commutative. If I say 4 times 3, that will be equal to 3 times 4. But for matrix, a times b is not equal to b times a. So this one here is numbers multiplication is commutative. So that's commutative here. And this is not commutative. And that's for matrix. This is for matrix. And this is for number. In terms of identity, if I have a single matrix like 4, the identity for that will be just 1. 4 times 1 would still be 4. And that 1 here is the identity. The 1 matrix here is the identity matrix, which is a unit matrix. This is for one dimension. So the unit matrix here, this one is for one dimension. If I have a two dimension situation, I got 1, 0, 0, 1. That will be two dimension identity. If I have a, like you use it to find area. If I have a three dimension situation, I'll be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That will be a three dimension situation. And that can be used to find volume. Let's explain few things before we carry on. When you're finding the determinant of A, it cannot be zero because a determinant of zero is what we call singular matrix. But you cannot divide something by zero, so that's not allowed. To apply identity matrix, if you have AX equals to B, to apply identity matrix here, you have to do the inverse of A times A times X is equal to the inverse of a times b. But if you have x, a equals to b, the way to apply inverse matrix here is x times a times inverse of a will be equal to b times inverse of a. So notice how we plug in the inverse of a has to be next to a because this is ax, so you have to put inverse of a here. We have to do the same on the b side because it's got to be to the left of a and to the left of b. And if a is to the right of x, we have to plug in the inverse of a to the right of a, and then we have to plug in the inverse of a to the, to the right of b. So that's how to apply that. Another situation is if you have the product of ba to power minus 1 and 
when we expand that, it will actually be A inverse times B inverse. So if you have the product of BA inverse, that will be equal to A inverse times B inverse. So these are the two important points to look out for. And when you're finding the inverse of A or any inverse of matrix, the determinant of that matrix cannot be zero because you cannot divide a value by zero. So let's do some example. If we have a linear system and the linear system is 3x plus y equals to 8, x minus 2y equals 5. There are two ways we can solve this. One way is to use the simultaneous equation approach. Another way is to use metrics. So let's do simultaneous approach. That's equation 1 and equation 2. And we just multiply equation 2 by 3 in order to eliminate x. So we get 3x minus 6y equals to 15. That will be equation 3. And I'm going to take equation 1 away from equation 3. So I want to put 3x plus y equals to 8 equation 1. I'm going to take away, draw a line. You just do, well, 3x minus 3x. That would be 0. And then you go on to minus 6y minus plus y, that will be minus times minus is minus, minus 6y minus y is minus 7y, equal to 15 minus 8, that will be 7. Divide both sides by minus 7, y is going to be minus 1. To substitute y equals to minus 1 back into equation 1 or equation 2 to find x. So let's substitute that back into equation 2, find x. x is equal to 5 plus 2y. I just add 2y to both sides of equation 2. I'm going to substitute y equals minus 1 and x equals to 5 plus 2 times minus 1. x equals to 5 minus 2, which is 3x equals to 3. So that is solved using simultaneous equation. But we can also solve this using metrics. So for metrics approach, first of all, I can just use the coefficient in this case for the first equation. So I'm going to transfer that into matrix. That'll be 3, 1, 1, minus 2, because that's the coefficient here is 1. The coefficient here is 1. This is minus 2, and that's 3. So that's the matrix here. I'm going to times it by the x and y variables. So these are the x and y variable. Here they are. And then I'm going to equate that to the their values, 8 and 5. So this is a linear system application of matrix here. So this is similar to the situation we saw earlier, where we have a matrix A, X equals to B, and we want to find X. So in order to find X, in this case, I need to multiply A by the inverse of A. Inverse of A times A, then times X, will be equal to inverse of A times B. So the reason, because I plug in the inverse of A to the left, I have to plug in the inverse of A to the left of B, since I plug it to the left of A. Inverse of A times A is I, identity matrix. So that's I times X, and that equal to inverse of A times B. So all I need to do now is find the inverse of A, because I times X is X equals to inverse of A times B. How do I find the inverse of A? Because it's a two by two matrix, that's easy. The inverse of A is the one over the determinant of A times the adjoint of A. And because it's a two by two, that's even easier to find because the determinant of A is minus two times three, minus 1 times 1. So the determinant, 1 over the determinant of A is going to be 1 over minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, minus 1 times 1, which is minus 1, that will be minus 7. So the determinant of A is minus 2 times 3, that's minus 6, minus 1 times 1, which is 1. So that will be minus 6 minus 1, which is minus 7. So the determinant of A is minus 7. The adjoint of A, we need to do by swapping this 2, so that would be minus 2, 3. This is only for 2 by 2, by the way. And, and then keep the other diagonal, but multiply them by minus 1. So you keep that, but you multiply it by minus 1. So that would be minus 1, minus 1. That's the adjoint. And so that's the inverse of A. So it is the inverse of A that I need to put here, and that's, and then multiply it by matrix B. So let's do that. X is equal to the inverse of A minus 1 over 7, matrix minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 3 and then times b and now what would happen we would multiply out the that minus 2 times 8 plus minus 1 times 5 because this is a 2 
2 by 2 and 2 by 1 matrix, the product will be 2 by 1. So this matrix is 2 by 2 and this is 2 by 1, indicating that 2 rows, that's that 2, 2 columns, that's that 2, 2 rows, that's that 2, 1 column, that's that 1. Matrix multiplication is only possible if the column here is same value as the row here and the product will be 2 by 1. And so let's do that. Minus 1 over 7 and then I have first stop will be minus 2 minus 2 times 8 plus minus 1 times 5 minus 2 times 8 plus minus 1 times 5 that's what this is and the next one will be minus 1 times 8 plus 3 times 5 so that'll be minus 1 times 8 plus 3 times 5 and that will be equal to 1 over 7 minus 1 over 7 matrix of well minus that's minus 16 and minus 5 minus 16 and minus 5 is minus 21 minus 8 plus 15 is 7 so that's x this x now will be equal to minus 1 over 7 let's write it out clearly minus 21 7 and that will be multiply out the scalar value minus times minus is plus 21 over 7 and minus 7 over 7 which is 3 and minus 1 you can see now we know what x is x is x and y matrix and therefore the answer x equals 3 y equals minus 1 just like we got here y is minus 1 x is 3 and so that's the application of the inverse of a matrix we use it where quotient or division is required we cannot divide in a matrix but rather we use the inverse of a matrix to solve division problem